Hey guys, it's Chef Ryan in the Growing Chefs Ontario Classroom Kitchen, and today I have an extra special guest with me, my four months old puppy, Olive. I love baking for every member of my family, even the furry ones. So today for this recipe, I'm going to show you how to make some dog biscuits. Let's take a look at everything we'll need for this recipe. Before you start this recipe, make sure you talk to an adult to make sure that all of these ingredients can be eaten by your dog. Just like people, dogs can sometimes have sensitive tummies or even be allergic to ingredients, so we want to make sure that these cookies are safe for them. Once you get the go ahead, we'll start by peeling our sweet potato. After I've peeled my sweet potato, I'm going to dice it into little cubes. After I dice my sweet potato, I'll put it in a pot with cold water and boil it. While my sweet potato is cooking, I can focus on the rest of my ingredient. So I have some spinach here that I'm going to mince up very, very, very finely. All of the ingredients going into this cookie recipe are wholesome and healthy, so you could even eat them too if you'd like. Once my spinach is cut very small, I'll put it in a mixing bowl. Next, I have some sunflower butter going in. You can use peanut butter if you have at home. Make sure you read the label though. If it says that it has sugar in it, you're not going to put our next ingredient, which is maple syrup. You'll also want to look at the label of your maple syrup. We want pure maple syrup here, not table syrup that we might eat on our pancakes. Table syrup is usually just sugar. We want pure maple. Mix that together. I'm also going to crack one egg into here. Once the sweet potato is very soft, carefully strain out all the water and then we're going to mash the sweet potato using a potato masher. Measure out one cup of the sweet potato and stir it into your nut or seed butter. And next we're going to add our flour. If you find it's getting a little tricky to mix, you can switch to your hands. If your dough is a little too dry, you can add a few drops of water just to help everything come together. If it's too wet, you can add a little bit more flour. So once your dough comes together and forms a nice tight ball, we can start to roll it out. So I'm going to cut my dough in half and work with just half of it at a time. I'll lightly flour my work surface and start rolling out the dough. You'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once your dough is fairly thin, you can grab some cookie cutters and start cutting out whatever shapes you like. It's probably a good idea to go on the smaller side so that you're not giving your dog too big of cookie. After your baking sheet is full, you can pop these into the oven and bake them for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can check on them to see how they're doing. We want nice crunchy cookies. While those are baking, we can ball up the leftover dough and repeat the process. After 15 minutes in the oven, my cookies are nice and golden brown and crispy. Let's see if Olive likes them. Growing chef. 